live by coming up. Well, I'm I'm hoping that they're gonna want to put on a good show. You know, they want to maybe because there's no prizes involved. There's there's no real stress. I'm hoping that they're gonna be thinking. You know what? Let's let's get some sick plays. Let's maybe get some gif your game clips in here. That's what I'm hoping for. But uh, we'll have to see. You know, the game already underway, and it's a good start for Swansea team. Yep. There we go. It's an early start for the uni team taking. Well, I mean, Escal popping off the backboard. I think that's easy going for a bit of a squishy save and Nebzi being out of position due to it and just tucked away into the right-hand corner and I hand over on the side looking for boost. So the early momentum coming out for the university team and then for another kickoff. Goes away of Escal, hits it forward, I hand pops it back mid and they'll be having to look for an early response preferably they could you know play the game as they've always been playing and take it easy but obviously being was well, essentially a goal down at the very start of the game not much time left and the pressure coming in for the uni team but a good save from them today will keep the goal line difference for one for now balls up on the sidewall Escort plays it forward i think can't find it nebsy passes it mid Escort pops there it up Ooh. Ihin makes a save though. Easy will try and play it across the side. And something to mention that uh, Nebzi, all credit to him, great player. However, he is the sub for the GCS levels. Their main player, X Peter, could make it due to some reasons that I don't know. And there's a fair potential that the uni team of Swansea are going to be capitalizing on that as they slam in their second. Yeah, it's another goal. Good shot there from. Uh... CYS God, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, a, a, a great a great shot there um, over the head of uh, the final defender. I think I think um, the the school team is going to have to work a bit on their defending. They're looking a bit shaky to start with. They're going to have to shake a few nerves out, maybe get some pressure on the other team uh, to sort of counteract what's been happening so far. But you know, promise from both teams so far. It's a great thing to mention as well, the potential pressure that players might be under are performing on stream because I don't know how many of GCS's uh, group stage games were streamed. I also don't think their playoff one was streamed, so there might be some nerves coming into this, but they're holding their own just now as the uni side of Swansea are backing off from their previous attack. I hate popping it off the wall himself, hits it forward towards goal, and CYS God, Sis God, Size God will figure something out. I hate. Can't find the up post oh, and so close. Ball from easy. Oh that's that oh that's that's not good. That's very not good for the for the skill side. What happened there? Is that uh, an well, yes it was indeed. He, oh dear. Oh, Nepsy play sideways and easy just wrong place, wrong time and I mean fantastic pass. You gotta say, absolutely. Uh, it was a, it was but, a fantastic uh, goal. Just, just maybe in the wrong in. place. Yeah. Um, three nil now, uh, and it's uh, not looking great for uh, the, the school's team. But you know, there is always a chance to bounce back. This is Rocket League. It's very unpredictable, and that is a nice save there coming out from uh, uh, the names. The names. I think what I'm going for is Ihane. I heard some people say Ihane. It's, it's one of those names that we've had in HSR where, honestly, just just a pain. Just, to just no one knows. The casters and analysts and people typing it. Absolutely pandemonium. Much like that attack there from the skill side onto the goal. This is God playing it forward and. Couldn't see who that was there flying across. I believe it was Sam. Couldn't find the pass to get the aerial in. And now pressure is relieved on the skill side. Easy. No boost, but a pop mid. Ihin pops it high. Ball lingering. This god popped it down. Easy jumps up for it. Can't find the double touch or the goal on target. And then we'll come out, but Sam will be popping it forward. No boost, and then there to slap it out of the air. But a little bit too slow and Escod's able to capitalize and I think it's something worth noting as well that maybe you can say nerves and just maybe not being warmed up 
But I think the rotation and defensive positioning for the school side of Swansea just doesn't look that solid. However, their attack almost comes to fruition. So it might be a matter of, a matter of turning off your brain, going on the offensive and just kind of ball chasing. And that might be what they need to take on the uni side here. Yeah, uh, it's it's tough. I mean, you know, you, you, I mention it every time. Like, you've got to have that balance between you know, aggression and also having a third man back to sort of save the day if there's a big clear. It's it's tough and it just looks at the moment like the uni uh, team's um, rotation is just a, a bit stronger, especially in the defensive side. There's been a few holes I've noticed on, on the school team side, GCS team. So uh, we're going to have to see if they adapt, see if they improve as the, as the games go on. Yeah, I think this one is a... Uh... Definitely a rather disappointing result for the skill side in blue, and they'll have to you know, take this one on the chin and move forward into games number two and three. See if they can maybe use it as a learning experience. Maybe the Unity team caught them off guard. They have a place there they weren't expecting. Now the skill side are, know what they're expecting, know how to deal with it, and can take it for the rest of the series. However, with two seconds left, make it zero. Ball lingering in the air, maybe a potential own goal or counter attack coming in. No, the ball will hit the floor. 3 0 to the Swansea Swizzers. And yeah, not the start for the school team that we were expecting. No, definitely going against all the, uh, well, most of the predictions uh, we had so far. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it can obviously all change. You know, we've seen it happen in the past that sometimes they just get into the flow they warm up there they feel more much more ready in the second third game and they they bring it back um but we it's definitely going to need some adaptation and i think we saw a little bit of that towards the end of the game they weren't conceding quite so much all three of the goals were towards the first half of the uh, of the match so i'm i'm thinking in the second game if they can keep that uh, solid midfield play and improve defense then uh, they need a few good finishes and they can win the next game quite easily. Yeah, for sure. Of course, the first goal coming out for the Swizzers was due to the <laughs> attempted squishy save in the opening seconds from Easy and Nebzy getting caught off guard by it and just being unfortunately in position. So it was kind of a gifted goal to give away in the few opening seconds of the match. So maybe GTS Owls, their header in the game and they can maybe make it a bit closer and further into the game than previously. Yeah, it was maybe the catch open a goal away from the uni side. The show match, you know, they're trying to put on a show and you got to respect them for, for, respect doing, the for doing the squishy save. You know, there's a few air dribbles I saw in there, a few uh, attempted uh, more, more difficult plays, which, you know, it's... It makes a great game, doesn't it? Absolutely. Okay. I don't think they mind to get... Whoops! I mean, trying to get a shot on goal. And, uh, I believe Puck trying to pass it back to easy, but in doing so, I think potentially ruined his attack. Maybe, maybe the, the lads are trying to... It may be a case of their own stream. They feel like they need to do flat, flashy plays. It's just maybe slightly not working out for them, so we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, it is a show match. I feel like, or at least I would hope that the lads do happen to get swept or some other losing result for them, but at least understand that it's all in good fun. And as long as they come out here and say, yeah, fair play, the uni team of Swansea is better than the high school, or the college team rather. So what are you really going to do about it? But it's, it's a chance to show that they're potentially a threat to them as an attack gets shut down there by the uni team and I think pops it forward. So yeah, definitely well, I mean, a more solid start for that skill team. I'd say so. I mean, you know, these uh, these GCS, some of these GCS uh, players might be on the Swansea uni team next year, depending on where they go, obviously. But, you know, there's a chance of that and I'm sure they'll be wanting to get involved in the uni team as it is. And, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's always good to see, you know, these new faces come into the scene and make a difference and there's the first goal going the way of the GCS uh, school team so improvement absolutely easy just catching the ball well to get it around S God and 
as we said, the non-easiest squishy save to happen for the uni team. And GCS are the ones currently running away with it in game number two. However, it's a matter of not just getting the lead, but also keeping it. So we'll have to see how the game progresses and whether or not they can hold on to that minor victory until the final whistle blows. Empty popping forward. I don't believe there's a keeper back to get it, and it's just... Okay, GCS, we see you. They get one. That's a quick reply. Just the uni team appeared to just kind of put three men forward and just no one in the defense for the counter attack for GCS. <laughs> a little bit of hurdle flick action, tiny bit of BM maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a great, you know, great job to GCS for bouncing back in the second game. That they're, they're showing that they they do have the skills, they do have what it takes to beat the Swansea team. How will the Swansea Uni team respond, however. Oh, bit of a mishap there in defense. I mean, that, that's one way to respond. Yeah. I think Nebs are going up for an easy thing, and he had it. Realized he didn't, and by then it was too late. So, a little bit of a defensive mistake there for the high school team. However, I, I can relate to being Nebs either. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, I'm glad that my job is to sit here and talk about the game and not actually play it because, I, believe me, I've made some worse mistakes than simply missing an aerial. So, yeah, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, the GCS, they did score a beautiful team goal earlier, so m maybe I would fit in. However, pop forward for the UV team, Nebzi gets the touch and needs to keep it away, hits it forward, but Siskod is there. I am crazy around the wall. Can't get it by Cisco though. It's a dangerous hit off the backboard, but I am popped it sideways. That was a great pass to Nebzi. So, showing that obviously a little bit of lapse in judgment and defensive mistake. Oh god, that's not enough. Close, close. <laughs> it very much shows in Rocket League. It's never over until it's over because you're sitting there slapping shots into the uni side net suddenly one big clear and you've not got any defenders to reply to it sam drops it below one hits off the backboard and i think that was a double commit and it's an easy yeah. tap in for escort yeah i've seen a couple double commits coming in and uh that's not something you want <laughs> again easy going for a squishy again well you know it's all part of the show you know just i'll just keep <laughs> i'll just keep telling myself that um but you know it's a uh, it's these mistakes that you can't you can't really afford to be having the double commits the maybe sl they were they were looking a bit sluggish when they were trying to get the ball out of defense have immediate response though by ne uh, Nebzi and uh, you know quite a nice goal there I thought yes yeah, Scott's going for a bit of a well I say flashy save off the backboard I think it was all he could actually do gets the <laughs> half lip in the aerial towards the goal but just pops it down to the mid and yeah it's a Easy to tap in, and now once again, GCS, maybe not by the flashiest of goals, but they have the lead again. It's a matter of, <laughs> unlike their previous two, not immediately losing it to double commits and easy hits off the backboard. So, Sam hits it deep, Ihain replies, can he get onto it again? He can, but it's a 50 by Siskod, and it's now going into the GCS corner. Easy pops it forward, but Sam is there on the wall. I miss the side. Escod goes for it, but misses due to it being slightly off the wall. We've all been there, can't really call it on it. Cool. 50 from Sam, finds his way to the side wall. Easy. No boost! I was I was really excited to see something there. And then I saw his boost count and I went, oh no. <laughs> he got the flip though. He did, he did get the flip. However, it sadly didn't lead to much. But now, potential counter attack for GCS. Possible fake slash miss for Ihain. We'll, we'll give it, we'll call it a fake. Yes, one hits it forward, and I think there it's one. Again, GCS, good team, potentially not great team, because I think the, who was there, Ihain and the Fennec, hitting the ball away from what would have been an easy hit from the keeper. And who knows, that could have been a knock-on effect to that goal there for the uni team as Siskor catches it beautifully on the wall, flips it by two players. And it's a tap-in for the third and the tie-up in the last 25 seconds. Yeah, I think there might be some uh, communication issues in defence maybe that I think the, the, the school's team definitely need to 
uh, tighten up their defense, have slightly cleaner rotation. They've got the attacking power, you know, they've, they've put on some good shots. They're, they've got another attack going here, which could lead to something, but it's just that, that their defense is, it's just not clean enough, maybe, is the word. It's just not quite there compared to uh, the uh, uni team. Yeah, I think it's a fair assessment. I did make the comments that GCS, as much as they are a solid team from the high school scene, Free? and I think a solid team is going to tap that one in any day. I was saying, GCS, solid team, but they're not, you know, the flashiest, mechanically gifted and amazing chemistry. But, you know, they'll take a tap Decent. in in overtime to take the second take a win. Lead. Yeah, a bit of a mistake there from the Swansea player, um, but you know that was a good game. I thought from GCS again, like I said, they need to they need to tighten up their defence. They need to communicate, I think, a bit better. Uh, you know, it's all right that they're not going for necessarily all the flashy plays. They had some decent decent passes. There was that one pass out of defence that we saw where he hit it sideways and then cleared it up the field. That was really nice to see. Um, but yeah, improvements to be made on both sides. Yeah, and I think something we could definitely mention, I can't exactly remember the stats from the first game, but I know that the Swansea Swizzers definitely had more shots than the GCS Owls. However, this time coming out, four shots in total for the Swizzers, and a smacking 10 coming out from the GCS. So maybe getting their feet, maybe, I don't know, Utopia Call Teams, their home map or something, but 10 shots coming out in five minutes, just slapping hits towards the goal. And I believe there's going to be a quick restart for one of the GCS players, so we'll we'll calm the pace for now. <laughs> but definitely a much better performance in game number two from the skill team. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's always great to put on shots. Like, you know, I think uh, Swansea had the higher shot percentage there, scoring three out of four of their shots. But, you know, the more shots you put in, the more likely you are to score. And you can see that GCS out. I was just taking it away from uh, the uni team and yeah if sometimes if you just put in as many shots as you can in a game it just gets harder and harder to deal with for the defense um, they're much more likely to make a mistake and uh, you know, this could be this could be a battle of the offenses this could be some maybe even higher scoring uh, maybe an even higher scoring game next next one yeah, it's very much a case of if you're always on the attack, your opponent can't score. Until they can't True. attack, which is very much a problem for GCS, I believe, because <laughs> the shot percentage of three to four shots went in for the uni team. There was at least two, I can't remember the third, that were definitely caused by, you know, double commits and easy dribbles in for <coughs> the uni side. So if GCS can stay on top of the ball, deny all the pressure from the Swizzers, I think they have the potential to just run away with this series, but it's a matter of tightening up your defense when you need it, making sure you don't double commit, making sure you don't get out of position. And as long as you can make your attacks work, not sure if the 50 towards your own net is one way to do that, but if they can make their attacks work and just keep their defense solid, you don't need to do anything flashy, but just keep it solid, they have the potential to run away with this one. I think. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, there, there are teams which can like play from the back and they just get one clear and score you know in the game and that's the whole game um but I, it's definitely i'd say not the case with these two teams they both have slightly shaky defenses um they, they you know they both have the the scoring potential and i think it's going to be and this might be the first goal here good save there by nebsey um but it's it's going to be going to be a close series i think one one so far once again, the one minute timer has passed and GCS have not considered an early goal in the first six seconds, so much better than the first performance. It's a matter of can they keep up to what they did in the second game. But was that pinch coming out from Easy and I? Intentional, maybe, maybe. I think uh, hopefully it wasn't just a double come in. That's a lovely shot from Nebzi there. Nebzi, the super sub, just popping forward himself and oh, potential bump there for Easy on Cisco had potentially caused some upset in the defense, and Sam just not early enough to get onto it. And yeah, if there's one way to make a name for yourself as a sub, it's scoring the first early goal in the third game of series against the Unity. 
Yeah, I think he's been... We've seen him do a, a few decent things. This is uh, interesting. It's gone high, though, so it's not an automatically free goal, but that was an interesting shot. Definitely, uh, yeah, definitely not free there. Um, could have definitely maybe could have done a little, little bit better, maybe not double committed in the uh, in the attack, but oh, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Yeah, so uh, I was going to say, can we get like some sort of tracker on the amount of saves that Easy has made that have been squishy ones? And <laughs> other than that, just easy tap in there from Cisco. I believe that was Nebzy who was in the net, just getting caught off guard by the little pop off of the side of the car. And yeah, from what was a uh... <laughs> good lord, Nebzy trying to go for something special there. Unfortunately, not doing so. I hate spawns in the back right corner. Uh, from Nebzy's rather spectacular solo goal play to a bit of a cheeky tap in for Cisco. Oh, and a miss save on the backboard. And it's a second for the uni team. GCS just kind of losing their grip on the game a little bit. Yeah, it's just small mistake after small mistake. Just not quite reaching the ball. Maybe they didn't have enough boost. They just couldn't quite reach it. They need they need a little bit of confidence on the backboard. They need to be... I, I, I know they can make those saves. I'm sure, you know, they're, to get to, you know, their rank and how well, how good they are as players, I'm sure that they can handle that kind of thing. Maybe they're just a little bit nervous from being on stream. I know I'm always nervous playing games on stream. But, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of more speed that they need in defense. Yeah, very much also could be a case of, maybe it's the opposite. Maybe they're not nervous on stream, but as we said, they want to put on a show. I've said it again, easy, going for about 17 different squishy saves in a time frame of two seconds. So, you know, maybe in their BEC games or their ranked games together as a team, maybe a little bit more, shall we say, focused than going for the simpler things. But here on stream, they're maybe going for the spectacular, trying to make things work. Nebzy not able to get onto that end of that pass from Ihane. It's a potential counter-attack. Easy doesn't find the hit which I believe he was pre-fluffing to get away from Escod. But now, the counter-counter-attack is Ihen drops it forward, and Nebzy almost gets tripped up by a player there, but manages to get the equaliser for the GCS Owls. Yeah, it's a nice play. It's a uh, very... a lot of pressure uh, on on their opponents there, GCS. Um, and uh, I saw Siskod was absolutely putting in bits in defence there. He, he had some quality saves. Um, but in the end, it was just a bit too much. You know, there was it was just a bit relentless. And here's another goal. And yeah, back we're back here again with uh, GTS being ahead by one goal. Yeah, just a pop off the backboard from Easy, and Neb's there to reply. And to be fair to him, up early, got onto the ball, read the pass, and it's the third goal for GTS Elves. So what maybe was looking like a bit of a shaky situation as the were going down in this game. They now took it back and we'll see if they hold on to it or decide to push for more in the final few seconds. Nebsy hitting it forward. Ihane gets bumped away by Sam, who I think fortunately for him was hitting it wide of his own goal rather than into it. Ball hit up high from S God. Ihane will pick up the scraps, bounce off the wall. Sam attempts to dribble, will be aiming to take up the wall, but <laughs> demo from Ihane or Brutal. Demo from Ihane, I'm not sure if it was either Nebzy or Ihane that was coming from their own side of the goal to head it forward. But <laughs> there's one way to cut out your opponent's attack. It's to make them unable to proceed it. However, Sam will make his own on the right side of the field and easy, just trying to get the ball away from the midfield, but it's just a pop off the wall and Sam's there to hit it back in. And once again, we're tied up on Neo Tokyo here. Both yeah. teams, I think, GCS for sure are looking better than they did in game one. Absolutely. Swansea Sizzlers looking better than they did in game two, a little bit shaky, just kind of responding with a few simple goals against the skill side. But now, as we get into the series, it does seem that both teams are getting warm. They're getting on the top of things as I hate goes for a wonderful double touch off the sidewall. 
but it's a big 50 from the keeper. But Easy comes up, plays it forward, keeps on top of it. Potential here for GCS, but pressure seems to be slowly going away as Ihin stays in the defense. We'll get a 50, bouncing up the corner. Hit up from S God, falling into the middle. GCS, they choose to keep it on, but a little ball from Ihin. The ball will get grounded. And can we get to overtime? I think this is anybody's game. Another 3-3 three, three overtime. This is a, this is a much closer series than we anticipated. And again, immediate. immediate <laughs> it's immediate from GCS. They just, over time, five seconds later, they win. And, uh, you know, that's maybe maybe the Swansea team, the uni team, need to take a bit of a look at their kickoff strategy. Cause it's not working. It's not working in that overtime, in these overtimes. I mean, you... <laughs> little bit of good cop, bad cop going out here. I need, to, I need to be bad cop for a second. Just someone for the Sizzlers, just... Oh, sorry, the Swizzlers, sorry. The Swizzlers, the, the name is... Uh, th there's seven different iterations of the name that we've gone through so far. We'll, we'll get it right eventually. Yeah, someone maybe. Someone <laughs> on the Swizzlers, just get it out. Just head it away from the goal. I was potentially thinking, that doesn't look wide to me. Maybe the, the Swizzlers thought it was wide from maybe their camera angles, but it just bounces in off the post and it's across the line and Nibs is there to slap it in. And GCS from, I think last game, their three feet overtime, six second kickoff goal. Not the worst. This one, the Swizzlers need to kick themselves up the behind and go what the hell was that and take it into game four here because that from what I've seen of these two teams so far that just puts the skill level just down like a few ranks we're, we're now looking at like you know bronze level stuff with that that attempted save that was wow. That's come harsh. on lads That's I, harsh. No, it's harsh because I know they can be better of course yeah of course they can um you know lapse in concentration maybe it is a it was a bit hard to judge that because it sort of skewed off the post and went in but they gotta be on it they gotta have someone there they gotta maybe not all go for boost not uh on the kickoff i don't know uh, it like it it's maybe it's just something that they need to practice they need to come up with some set strategies uh for the kickoff but uh yeah it is 2-1 to gcsls as we get into our game four gcsls could potentially take it uh, over the Swansea Swizzers. That's not going to get easier to say. Um, yeah, it's the fact it's the double S as well. The triple S as well. The Swan Z Swizzers. And also Z doesn't exactly need a letter. However, what is easy is to tap into the bottom right corner for Ihane with a beautiful pop up. Easy. Soft touches it off the backboard, catches both keepers out. Ihane, easy to like, pops in the bottom right. So, as we yeah. were contemplating the name of the Swansea Scissors. The scissors! God, there's a new one! It is. <laughs> the Swansea Swizz... They knew what they were doing when they made the name. They knew. The they Swansea were just, they Swizzers. Were, it was a personal attack, that's what it was. It was. They knew <laughs> that whenever they made the team name, somewhere down the line, they'd be in a uni versus high school show match, and Zappa and Senate just would not be having a good time with it. They knew the entire time. However, what they also didn't know was that GCS were going to stomp into the lead early into this game four here. And we did predict on the desk three, four GCS, one for the uni team. And there's potential for it here if GCS can steal away this game and also this series. Yeah, the pressure's looking a lot better, I think. Uh, I mean, again, it was another more or less kickoff goal. Oh! <laughs> that was a nice save. There we go. To quickly say, there was a huge bump on the backboard. I think it was from Ihane onto Sesgod, sent into the air. Nebby thought he had an easy tap in, and the keeper got bumped, flew for about three seconds into the save just by complete accident. Maybe could have been better placed by Nebsy, but it's the response from the uni side, and Sesgod ties things up for the Swizzers. There you go. Wow. It, it is just any anybody's game, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, you know, again that first goal from GCS uh, was just more or less another kickoff goal. It was a nice play, it has to be admitted. It is hard to defend those backboard passing plays, but again, it, why, like, why do they have control? 
right off the bat immediately. It's, I feel like it should be more of a much more contested off the kickoff. Not Even sure. And Nipsey, and is it just end the end? The Unisite just getting caught in the defense. Let's see if we can. Well, the, re the replay angle isn't great, let's be honest. But yeah. Long shot. I just think. Bit of an own goal, maybe. I don't know. Is that on no, target? I, I, think, I think it was bouncing top left from what I saw, and says God had to attempt something. And sadly ends up thinking off his own crossbar. But yeah, the Unisei getting a bit complacent against a GCS team who, from the start, they 3 would them. Looked incredibly, I think it's fair to say, disappointing from what I was expecting from what I've seen of them. But since then, they've ramped it up and up, and now they're at series point. And yeah, maybe the Unisei just getting a bit complacent, even though, you know, it's series point, you're about to get eliminated. And just there was no one back in the defense for that, and now <laughs> all, all the GCS players collapsing on the ball at once. <laughs> uh, from the opening, you know, SE from both both teams, it, it is so back and forth. It's just one team going. This is to go back. A little bit messy from both. Good lord! From the opening like minute and a half or so. Where honestly, these two teams looked on fire and it was going to be a fantastic game. The last two goals have just kind of been a bit of a shambles, if I'm honest. Yeah, a little bit messy from both both teams. It, it's so back and forth. It's just one team gets called the other, one team the other. It's. I mean, is it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another kickoff goal for GCS. I, I think it's going to be another overtime, honestly. And I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if. If it's an overtime kickoff goal for GCS, because that just seems to be the way the series is going. Who wrote the script, by the way? Uh, the castles, apparently. Oh, so. <laughs> we, we predicted, well, I suppose we pseudo predicted the 3 1 move. Pre predicted GCS 1 for the uni side. So we'll have to see whether the 3 1 on the desk translates to a 3 2 in the series. But yeah. To go back to the comment, two great goals in the opening, and then two horrendous ones afterwards. You don't go to, you know, a children's football game and slander them from the get-go because they're not Lionel Messi. But the thing is, I can slander these two teams because they've shown they have high amounts of potential, as the two opening goals showed. But the last two goals were just kind of horrendous. So it seems that these teams, when they focus and they get on top of things, they're amazing. But one little laps and concentration and just going mm, what am I going to have for dinner after this is I think it's a wonderful flip reset double hit on the ball Lovely. it just seems that everything falls apart once they stop concentrating and maybe it let loose a little bit so yeah I think honestly anybody's game I don't think it's one team's better than the other I think it's which team can stay concentrated for the longer amount of time I think yeah you know what I'll be I'll be good cop here you know uh, I, I reckon both teams just have really, really good uh, offensive skills, and you know they're just slightly lacking uh, in the in the defense department. But you know they're they they're both they're both teams are putting on shots. They're both converting quite a few. So there's positives to be taken away from this game. Absolutely. Pop off the sidewall from Ihain, and that was almost a catastrophe. I'm not sure if Ihain and Nevs are there were playing the Chuckle Brothers card of to me to you and just letting the other one take it but they managed to get away with it. Sam pops it down and that's a great hit from I think that was easy in the corner. Only saw him for a flash for a second. However, Siskod meeting with Nebs in the middle. Pop up. Siskod actually comes across and takes it and almost catches out the GCS side but easy is there to respond. Hit onto the backboard by Nebsy. Hits off the sidewall. He misses. Soft touch by Siskod forward but gets the 50 into the corner. Easy gets a interesting hit forward. Says God, almost beating out. I think that was Ihain on the side, but sadly not on target. And definitely for the last few seconds, the pressure has all been the Unison's court. But it's one good clear from GCS, and there's 13 seconds left. Series point for GCS, mind you. The Unison side need to capitalize right now. They have five seconds to get a goal, bring it to overtime, which even then is still GCS favorite terrain. By him, plays it forward. Ball hits the floor. And ladies and gentlemen, GCS Owls take the series three to one against the Swansea Swizzers.
Yeah, that was a, a good last game, good solid uh, performance. I think uh, GCS, after they got their third goal, they did very well in uh, in sort of sitting back, not taking too many risks, um, just not really letting the, the uni team uh, pass them, um, which I think was probably the right call. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that was, you know, a very good, uh, very respectable performance, at least from both sides there, and uh, a, a close series overall. Yeah, I think both teams showing that they have potential to be great in the future. Both teams also showing there's a lot to work on. But I definitely think that the Swansea Swizzers played a fine couple of games, just a few very quick counterattacks from GCSLs that caught them off guard. Maybe it's the the young spunk of the younger team just catching them off guard and jumping on top of the ball without any response to it. GCSLs in game number one didn't take a goal off of the uni team, but since then just improved throughout the series. And yeah, I think a, a well-deserved series win, shall we say, it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, after that 3-0 uh, loss in the first half, I said, you know, well, we both said maybe there's some nerves. I'm sure they'll they can settle down. They can respond, adapt, and yeah, we did see that. Sure, it was a bit sloppy. There was a few, you know, questionable defensive decisions here and there, but I think they, they definitely, you could see the signs of adaptation and improvement throughout the series, and I think that's a, a, a great thing to take away from this match. Yeah, absolutely. So that is a series between GCSLs and the Swansea Swizzers. We're going to take a short break and come back for the second game of GCS. Will I take on the Cardiff Crusaders? Short break. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 